wanted to make um, one more comment on the dialogue Menexenus by Plato because it is one of three um, important dialogues on memory in Plato. Uh, four, actually four. Um, there's Critias uh, about remembering, which is the literal remembering of the past of Athenian history which is playing itself out in Plato's lifetime when he's young and um, when he's in his 20s and when Socrates life is taken and then you have Mino which is um, also about remembering and geometry and you have Theotetus which is about has all the ways of remembering correctly and incorrectly in it I think there's you know seven to twelve different ways of remembering things mentioned in Theotetus, the dialogue that has the subtitle on, on what is knowledge. And then finally, Menexenus, which is a eulogy. It's the only eulogy that takes place in Plato's canon, and it therefore bears repeating, or bears comparison to the, um, the very famous funeral oration of Pericles. And so it has a lot to do with Plato having Socrates deliver a kind of Periclean eulogy. And the comparisons between the eulogy of Pericles and the eulogy of Menexenus and Socrates' assessment of per the importance of Pericles and Pericles' state station as a statesman and the, his function as a statesman um, recalls the question of Theotetus, sophist, statesman, philosopher. Are these one, two, three, or four? This is a Pythagorean question. Are they, is the knower one thing? The sophist a second thing? The statesman a third thing? And the philosopher a fourth thing? Or are they all a unity? Or is the answer something other? And so uh, per Pericles makes an appearance in really two dialogues of Plato. One is where Socrates delivers the eulogy of what's going to happen after his lifetime, and then in Gorgias, where the four prominent statesmen, four prominent statesmen of Plato's lifetime are actually critiqued by Socrates, and Socrates elevates himself to the place of the pro most prominent statesman in Athens, because he was the only one who actually tried to make the citizens good. Whereas the other statesmen failed precisely and decisively in that respect, and therefore, in Socrates' view, were not true statesmen. They were imitators.